Hi everyone, um, so back with another dispenser uh, unboxing and review today. This time we're going for the touch sleeve uh, dispenser. It's got six sleeves, it takes six sleeves, it's £28. Um, so that sort of brings it down to about £22.40 I think it is with a 20% discount if you're an expert or ambassador member. Uh, it rotates 360 degrees. On the Nespresso website, the dimensions are coming out at um, 35.5, so that'll be length, it says, but that'll be the height, 35.5 centimetres. Width is 12.5 centimetres, and the base is 15 centimetres. So let's get it open. Um, my wife's going to help us today, because the way I tend to open these boxes, I'm not very delicate, and I tend to rip them open <laughs> way too much, so I just feel that it's going to be a lot neater. If my wife, uh, a, a neater experience at the end, if my wife does this unboxing. So she's agreed to help. So that's the first look at it. A few little booklets inside as they usually do have with them. So not the cheap, we're going up the range now. We've reviewed recently the Bombonier, um, and unboxed that. We've reviewed the Touch Nomad. And now we're going slightly up the price range. In, and then we're going to eventually put them all side by side and see which one we like the most. So that's our first look at the dispenser. We've got to get a closer look in there. So yeah, it spins 360 degrees. I wasn't sure whether it was sort of spin on the inside of this frame, but it doesn't. The whole thing spins. Is it stable? Fairly stable. What do you think? Stable? Mm, yeah, and it's empty right now as well. Yeah, and it's empty at the moment. So we're going to put some sleeves in now. And um, we've got six to put in. We're going to see how it looks. Because one thing I was worried about with this dispenser is whether, because these boxes have these little like sleeves on at the bottom there, they have the perforated edge. I wondered if it might look scruffy by the time you actually put it in and you open them up. Would those cardboard edges down here just make it look a bit scruffy? But we'll find out. We're going to put six in. It's the first time we've done it, so please bear with us. It looks like, so it says to put it in without opening it first. It can only go to that point there anyway. Right. And then you to open it while it's in position because that's where the per so it's a little bit awkward perforated then, edges if you get used to doing it i suppose it'd be a bit easier as we go yeah maybe we're having a bit of this is why i didn't want to do it <laughs> i saw yeah. this might happen right so we've got one open we'll see if it's easier the second time now we know what we're doing See, I think this one's easier because it's in the middle, so you can get at the sides. Yeah. Don't want to rip them off. Not easy, is it? No, it is quite fiddly. Like I say, I think once you got used to it, you know, it could... Yeah, is it possible to neaten these up anymore, do you think? So that slides in there. You see, for me, I'm always honest on my reviews, like, it is the first time we've used it, so if you've got this dispenser or you've used it in the past, please leave a comment if you think we're doing anything that, that's wrong or that it, we could neaten it up any more than that. How's it? Because it says slide the sleeve into the dispenser, then open the sleeve, and then take the capsule, and then you rotate. So it is that's the way... That's what it's supposed to look like. Yeah. See, my worries, though, have kind of come true there because I always thought it looks really smart, it's really sleek, really well designed. Mm. But I always thought but these funny edges down here are going to make it look scruffy. And mm. I, I, I don't really like that. I think there's another one been suggested in the comments. It's a pixie one. Um, and that's sort of silver. It holds four sleeves. And I think that one might even have like an aluminium, an aluminium bottom to them. So this is actually aluminium and you maybe drop the capsules in from the top and not have the sleeves I'm not sure about that yet. I need to look at it. It's the benefit of unboxing them and looking at them and trying them out. But it would be a lot better for me if they had like a plastic edge here to sort of block that Well, that's more. it. If, see, these little bits of plastic here to keep them in place, if they had... One more, yeah, but then you couldn't get your pot mm. out, could you? So... <sighs> yeah. I just think... It, what do you think, honestly? Do, does it look... I think the design is really sleek. I think... It, it's real. I do really like it. I I know what you mean about just this cardboard yeah. being a little bit messy on shore. Um, but shall I put the others in and see what it's yeah, like with on, all of them? Yeah, of course. Let's have a 360 degree. Yeah. Because it feels really nice to move. 
I keep, I'm, I'm keep it's a really nice it. design thing, isn't it? It's just, I just had a, that worry and it has come true, really. So yeah, it was easy, it's easier there. Yeah. I was easy, like maybe it's more a case of getting used to doing it. <laughs> As I struggle with the next one. I'm glad I'm not doing this. <laughs> That definitely would not be as neat as this. I think you need nails as well. Yeah, I haven't got nails, but I shouldn't have nails, hopefully I don't. So do you think that's neater than the other side? Yeah, it needs to pop it down a bit more though, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it looks a bit neater there. Maybe it's just getting used to doing it, but I still don't like that. That does look a little bit neater, so maybe... I'm getting used to it, you know. Yeah. What, seeing it? Seeing the cardboard. I'm, I am, I think I have a bit of OCD sometimes with certain things, not with others, <laughs> but certain things. If I spot something and I don't like the look of it, it, it can irritate me. But over time, you tend to notice things less, don't you? Mm. Um, so I bet I probably wouldn't even notice it in a month's time. Um, but it is a smart That's looking nice thing. <laughs> yeah, will these fall out though, do you think? Let's try to give it a spin, see if yeah. it just falls out. No. Give it a rattle. No, so it's that just one's about. Ready to, but... I feel like I'm playing that 2p game at the fairground. You're trying to knock all the 2p's off the end. See what happens when you take one out and then... Yeah, so they're not going to come falling out, are they? All over your kitchen floor. No. So there we have it. We've unboxed. I'm glad that's gone well. We've unboxed the uh, touch... What was it called again? Touch... Sleeve dispenser. Hold six sleeves. There's a pixie one. It's more expensive than Pixie one though. I think we're up into like £40, £42 region. Um, but I might try and get hold of it um, and we'll maybe compare them side by side as well, see if it's worth the extra money. Hopefully it'll provide a bit of a neater job of this, but it's not that bad, is it? I'm just being over the top. But it is a smart, it's fairly stable, smartly designed thing. Oh, it's gonna come out. I know, right, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> Thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, please leave a comment if you've got it, if you like it, if you dislike it for any reason. Uh, love to hear your comments, your views on it. Also compared to some of the other dispensers, what do you think of it? Have you had the pixie one, the aluminium one, uh, looking one? Is that better? Let us know. Um, please give it a like if you've liked it. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. We've got more unboxings on the, and reviews on the way of these dispensers. We're gonna do a video where we put them all side by side. Um, and we've also got a lot more already that we've unboxed and shown you. We've got the Pure Rock um, dispenser, the View Cube on the channel, the Bombonier, the Touch Nomad dispenser. So Google those with the, with, um, not Google, well, you can Google them, or you can do it on YouTube with the letters A to B, that's a number two, alongside which dispenser you want to find. Or you could just go on our channel page and find them on there. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. That's it.